Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here after tonight's uh, semi final of the uh, NFA Hilliers Cup, and I'm here with uh, man of the match, Ryan Robbins. Ryan, great to get back in the team and uh, two goals to celebrate. Yeah, it's nice to be called up on, you know, because uh, Diamond's there, he's cup tied, so it's nice to be get back into the team and get back on the score sheet. And we started really brightly, didn't we? And uh, great cross for your first goal. Yeah, um, I literally, I went over to Joel. I told him it's a flat cross. He's li he put it straight on the, on my head, and it's gone. Look at it, it's gone in. Yeah, I mean, first half, I thought we uh, we actually played really well in those first uh, 30 minutes. I mean, they were struggling, I think, to get in the game. And then breakaway Callum broke from uh, our half, and uh, really good ball. You chased it and uh, fought off to defend the score. Uh, yeah, to be, I, I think we we I think we did well for 40 minutes, and then obviously the last five minutes we kind of took our foot off the pedal. But it was a great run from uh, Westy. He's, he's he's done well to pick it out, and it's I've pulled it back and look at it, it's put it gone into the bottom corner. So uh, two one at half time. What did Pizza say at half time? He just told us to just, we just need to lift it again and we just need to pick it up and just get back to how he was playing at the start of this first off. I suppose it was obvious they couldn't play as badly in the first half because they didn't play that well and they came out and they put us under a lot of pressure. Yeah, they came out, they, they came out and put us on a, a lot of pressure, which obviously they got the goal, which kind of, kind of, broke down all of our hard work that we'd put in in the first half and most of the second half and then unfortunately they got the second which has kind of deflated us. Yeah and I think uh, on the terraces they scored really late on you thought that was going to be a winner but it shows the, the heart of this team to come back and, and equalise again. Yeah we, we've, we've got that never die attitude and we showed it, we've showed it time and time again where we've come from behind and it was no different today. We just carried on playing, carried on pushing. We didn't sit back. Um, but luckily, Bullies fell to Bully. And he bet your money, he'll score. And uh, you obviously had to come off uh, injury or tiredness? Um, it's a bit of both. Cause my calf was a bit tight, but then I started to cramp up. But hopefully, I'll get it checked out Thursday and it's nothing, nothing serious. And were you disappointed to miss the penalty shootout? Uh, yeah, because I've missed the last two, so it would have been nice to take one, but you know, it's a cruel way to go out. But we, we're all men and we, we lift our heads and we go again Thursday, we train hard and we we uh, go down to Osley on Saturday and we, we, we play like we did um, in the first half. We'll have no problem. Yeah, and I mean the priority. I mean everybody loves the a cup final at six fields at the end of the season, but it is only the county cup, but the league, and where we are at the moment, we're in such a good position. Yeah, we're in a great position. We're at the top, and uh, we've, considering we haven't played for a while, it's things are going our way. So can't ask for much more. So hopefully we can go get back to league action on Saturday and bring home three points. All right, mate, I'll let you go. I know it's cold. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks, Ryan. I'm now here with uh, manager Andy Peaks. Andy, I know you hate losing any game, but uh, after that performance, you must be proud. No, I was really proud. I thought the boys were absolutely fantastic tonight. Um, like I said, we've, again, after 90 minutes, a team from a higher league, they've, they've not managed to beat us. Um, so we can take a lot of praise, a lot of credit from that. Uh, obviously, we lost on penalties, which is not a great way. We've lost the last two on penalties, but I'm not going to lose loads of sleep about it. I wanted to put performance on tonight for the supporters that come, and I thought they did exactly that. Yeah, I think they were proud of you at the end, and uh, we started really bright. I mean, first 40 minutes, I thought uh, we were the team in the higher division. I thought for the first half, up until they scored, I thought we were absolutely fantastic. I thought we looked in complete control, bossed the game, caused them a lot of problems, and deservedly 2-0 up. Disappointed with the goal on half time because for me there was a foul on Sam Brown and then they was clearly offside. So that that for me gave them a massive lift at a key time, which was very disappointing. Um, but it was up to us then to go out and do what we need to do in the second half. And uh, I know you had a couple of players cup tied, and uh, but uh, Ryan came in, took his goal as well. Yeah, he, he's a threat, and you know he was doing well until he got injured or whatever. And he's had to sit and wait his time because the front two have been doing well it was a good opportunity for him tonight and he didn't let us down I thought it was excellent really good so again it shows the depth we've got in the squad yeah so uh, half time team talk difficult or obviously they just got that goal yeah they've got a goal so it was always going to be difficult they made a couple of changes at half time and brought a couple more of the 
big hitters, if you like, on. You know, we ended up with a pretty strong team out there, didn't they? So, but they were going to always going to have a go. They say it was disappointing to lose a goal that close to half time because it made their team talk a little bit easier. They threw on us a little bit second half, and I thought we defended quite well. Ben didn't have a great deal to do, although they had a lot of possession. I didn't think we passed the ball second half as well and kept the ball as well. But I think, you know, it's difficult when you're under that sort of pressure. But the disappointing thing for me was the, the two goals they scored second half were both, again, avoidable. Yeah, the first, the second goal was uh, came through a cloud of players from a header and it kind of trickled into the net. Yeah, it went in easy. I think it was a free header, really. Um, and that was disappointing. And then again, we come back into it, we had some spells and they broke and scored the third. Um, right, you know, but again, credit to our boys. They've come back again after all that's gone on. Um, still got back in the game. Yeah, I mean, uh, incredible celebrations for their third goal, and of course, when they won it, it was a county cup time. Well, that's what I thought, but that, that's up to them, and that's not my ship to stay. That, that's how they celebrate, and how serious they take games is completely up to them. I know over the 90 minutes, we were plenty good enough to beat them, and say they're sitting pretty high, or they were up until the last 10 days in the league above. Um, so for me, you know, that, I'm, looking, I'm worried about us, John, to be honest. I want to win the league we're in and get promoted out of that. And then, you know, that's, that's what I'm all about. Yeah, and I know you'll be looking forward to Saturday. I'll see. That won't be easy. They drew 0-0 nil at our place. I know they'll uh, they'll be up for the game. Yeah, I mean, tonight was, you know, one of them where you go to somewhere, they're a league above and there's no pressure on, really. The pressure for me was that I didn't want to get beaten heavily. I didn't want to get embarrassed tonight because... They're a good team, we've got a lot of good players, that's why we went strong. Um, but for me, it's a different challenge in the boys. They've got to be up for it against the team probably expected to be. Yeah, so um, let's uh, put that behind us and uh, we'll look forward to Saturday and I'll see you on Saturday. Absolutely. Cheers, John. I don't need love.